Schools in Los Angeles have long relied on a practice called flushing to protect children from lead in water. Lead often leaches into water from lead-bearing plumbing. That means lead levels can rise when water sits in pipes and fixtures for long periods of time. To test for lead, Los Angeles Unified takes two water samples. The first is taken when a tap is turned on after sitting at least overnight. Then the district runs the water for 30 seconds and takes a second sample. If water has high levels of lead in the first sample, those levels typically decrease by the second sample. For decades, Los Angeles Unified directed school staff to flush fixtures for 30 seconds each morning before children got to school. The practice will come to an end later this year after the district approved new spending to permanently fix faucets with elevated lead levels. The district says flushing gets rid of water that is more likely to have high lead levels. But new research indicates flushing may not be as effective as once thought. One study found that once water goes back to sitting in pipes, nearly half of its initial lead content returned within half an hour. To learn more about lead in school drinking water, visit edsource.org lead.